Hi, my name is Connor McNeil from Georgian Bay Yacht Sales by United City Yachts, Canada's largest yacht sales network. And today I'm gonna to be taking you aboard for a virtual walkthrough of this 2002 Sea Ray 480 motor yacht offered for sale. Let's take a look, we got a beautiful day. I'm gonna do a nice walkthrough. We'll start with the exterior and then we'll go in through the interior of the boat. So this Sea Ray 480 is currently located at Y Heritage Marina in Midland, Ontario. It's got a beautiful slip wrap right now. It's a nice, almost private dock, but uh, the slip is available and can be transferred if you're interested. So looking at the exterior shot here, the boat was just launched a few days ago and is in the early stages of getting all set up for the season and all cleaned up. Now this boat measures 53 feet overall, although it is a 480 motor yacht, but 53 feet overall with the swim platform that we have on it. It's got a 15 foot beam and then only a four foot draft. Nice large catwalks, enough room for me to walk side by side on my feet. Don't have to uh, sort of shimmy along the side of the boat here. Now moving up to the forward bow, you've got two anchor lockers. One's the anchor locker, the other is just a um, another forward locker with a bow washdown. You've got the foot pedals for the windlass. And then turning around a little bit, we've also got the area right in here for sun pads that were just uh, re-added in 2020. So relatively new sun pads on board, obviously just taken off right now to avoid sitting out in the sun for too long. And then on the upper part of the, uh, the bow here, this would just be a nice lounging area. No sun beds for this section, just on the lower section in front of the windshield. And then we'll go up the starboard side of the boat to get back into the cockpit. Again, really nice catwalks here. Full hardtop enclosure and nice hard window windshield. Going in through the starboard side. So coming into the aft cockpit section here, you've got a really nice large couch, sofa, and then a dining table here. Behind me, we've got the wet bar station. So in this door, we have a fridge. Nice little bar fridge for you there, brand new. Then you've got a prep area up on the, uh, just on the deck here. And then you've got a sink and then some more storage down below in that section there. Yeah, your Clarion stereo controls, nice flat screen TV sitting out there. You can see all the upholstery is in really good condition going all the way around the boat. Now, to get to the transfer of the boat or down to the swim platform, you do have this access door. So this door will close and latch or will all the way open and latch. We've just got the Dickinson barbecue sitting here right now, but that normally gets stored on a pedestal mount on the, uh, the transom of the boat. You've got a shower there. So if you're coming off the swim platform and you got some sandy feet, then you can wash those off. And then going down the stairwell here, there is the black carpeting here, which is a, uh, a sea weave material. It's easily washable. And uh, so it's not a fabric carpet, but um, that does continue all the way down the steps here. We've just got that pulled off right now. And then you can see we've got a really nice size swim platform with a Hurley davit system for the dinghy. And this boat does have a dinghy with it. We've got 50 amp shore power cable on a retraction. So with the push of a button, you can bring the cable in and out. I'll give you a nice shot of the cockpit here. Really nice living space. Like I said, hard top full enclosure here. And then you have a little bit of canvas just on the back. Now the canvas does have screen inserts if you'd like the screens instead, but pretty nice clear windows here. This was also done recently in 2020, so that's relatively new canvas as well. Looking at the forward cockpit area, now one thing to note right off the bat is that there is a cockpit air conditioner. Now you've got Raymarine touchscreen GPS navigation there. A little bit of a glare just from the sun, but we do have that on right now. And that was also recently installed in 2020. Then you've got Simrad Autopilot, Raymarine VHF Radio, recently replaced as well in 2020. And then you've got the side shit or side power thrusters. So these are through hull thrusters. And uh, the stern thruster was recently replaced in 2020. Then you've got the Cummins engine monitors. And on board, we've got the QSM-11 
those are the, that's the model of the Cummins diesel engines, and then you have a generator on board, and um, and then the rest of your batteries and uh, your inverter. Walking down into the salon area, really nice open salon. What's nice about the motor yacht is you have all these windows along the side of the boat. So it really allows in the natural light. Doesn't feel like you're down inside of an express cruiser. Now you've got a cushion to the port side and then another nice large sofa to the starboard side. That little piece in there is a footrest that can come out. You've got some carpet overlays here just to keep off the original carpets going into the galley really nice cooking space here i really like the uh the dark woods aboard this boat gives it that nice classic look to the sea ray now here we've got a three burner stove then you've got your sink and then a little bit of prep area plenty of storage around storage around and then up top here above the fridge we've got your microwave and then of course the fridge with a separate freezer up on top. Really nice space. And if I go to the other side of the boat here, starboard side, you've got the four seater dinette with storage down below. And then your uh, central back location is right there. Now we'll start off with the forward VIP stateroom. So this would be considered the VIP stateroom. Nice center line berth with hanging lockers on either side. And then you also have access to what would be considered the day head or the guest head on board. So nice vacuum flush toilet, separate shower stall, really good size to that. You can even sit down on the bench there and then the vanity with the sink. Now you also have a lateral berth aboard this boat. So those are the sun beds there, nice black canvas. And then the lateral berth here has the option to either be one large queen size bed or you take out the center insert and it becomes two singles. So this would be your guest stateroom. Now we do have a forward bilge. So I'll open up the forward bilge while we're here. Now the forward bilge is where you've got the all-in-one washer and dryer and then some spare props there, but also just some really good storage space here. Extra parts, maybe some dry food storage, whatever you want. You got a nice big forward bilge there. Engine room down below, we'll look at that last. But as we make our way into the stern of the boat, we now go down into the private master stateroom. So whole aft section of the boat here is dedicated to the master stateroom. Really nice queen size berth, center line as well with access on either side, your own designated heat and AC back here. And then you can even crack that back window. Relatively new or actually recently replaced flat screen TV. So that'll stay with the boat. And then you've got a vanity here, some indirect lighting, really nice sort of prep area for the day. And then you've got a separate shower stall on the left side and then to the right you have your separate head stall and this will have another vacuum flush toilet and then the sink is centered so we'll make our way back up and we'll have a look at down in the engine room so now we're down the engine room here. We've got the Westerbeek generator, nice soundproof box to it. So relatively quiet while you're uh, running your Jenny and you'll need that to run your AC systems and some of your galley appliances. Scrolling around here, it's a little bit tight in here. So forgive me, but uh, we've got the QSM-11. This is the Cummins diesel engines running really, really well with only 340 or sorry, 1345 on the hours. So um, just just over a thousand hours there and not bad. Had full maintenance done by the marina here and um, was also recently surveyed and spring of 2023. Now, if you'd like a private tour of this boat, you can contact me by email, which is connor at georgianbayyachtsales.com, or you can visit our website for more information on the boat. We'll have the full listing details 
as well as 360 photos that you can interact with. We'll have this YouTube virtual tour, and then of course all the regular photos, but the listing details is, is all there for you for everything we know about the boat currently. Again, if you'd like a private tour, you can contact me by email, or you can give me a call at 705-427-9025. I would absolutely love to get you aboard. This boat is available for showings anytime now.